I love late autumn. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's the time for wonderful seasonal reminders, like the first snowfall, sweater weather, hot drinks, cozy times with blankets, books, and big chairs. And let's not forget my personal favorite, Christmas shopping? Oh, Christmas, the season of giving. It can be really stressful to plan and manage so many things at the same time when you only do it once a year-ish. So today we're talking about how to organize gifts and other occasions of giving in Tana. This basic gift list setup is inspired by a well-known Japanese diary planner called Hobonichi Techo. Of the many thoughtful features they offer, one is a gifts page, a place for you to track gifts you receive and give. The instruction on the top of the page goes as such. Record the presents you've given or received so you don't forget who gave what to who and when. This is also helpful for thank you cards. Helpful indeed. It is easy to create a similar setup in Tana where you can track gifts from birthdays, anniversaries, housewarmings, New Year's, or any other milestone in life. Let's dive into Tana for this. Enter the gift super tag. Our super tag gift consists of the following fields. A date, handy to record when something was given or received. A to from field, offers two fixed options, to or from. A person field, can be a plain field or can also be a drop down list of people drawn from a super tag like person or close friends and family. Notes, place to add helpful notes like a to do to send a thank you card or research on the item. Optional is the field occasion where you can record the relevant occasion for the gift exchange. Now, let's look at different ways to see all this gifting activity. You can create different search nodes to find gift instances so you can sort them by date, occasion, or person. Another handy extension is Gift Ideas, where you can record gift ideas that have come up so you can build a potential gift or a good last minute gifts repertoire over time and allow future you to never be without thoughtful ideas in a pinch. Now let's kick it up a notch. Renee, a member of the Tana community, created a quick Christmas gift planner and she is going to walk us through her setup. Here's Renee. This is a walkthrough of a setup in Tana for planning and tracking Christmas gifts. So I'm gonna go here to my Christmas gift planner and uh, we're looking at right now a list of all of the nodes that I have tagged with the Christmas gift. So it's just showing all the items uh, that I essentially need to buy or purchase for persons, family, and friends. All right, so if I just expand this first one, the iPad, all right, so I'm just going to go into the actual configuration of the super tag so we can go through the fields in a bit more detail. So this is the default content as you can see here it's going to come up for anything that i tag as a christmas gift the first field person so you can see here that i have just a fixed list of options for persons that i that are in my family friends that i would want to purchase a gift for store uh, i can enter the name of the place that i want to purchase the item from I have uh, these fields, which are just number fields. Uh, uh, the first being because I live in Trinidad and I order most of my gifts online, um, 
I need to have the US price and I need to have the my local price, which is the Trinidad and Tobago dollar. And I also need to have a web source clearance. So this is just the shipping company that I use to get things from online. I need to have the amount that that would have costed as well, because it's going to reflect the total price of the gift. I have a URL. So we can see here, this is just a URL for the iPad. I have the image, I'm also the year, which is also a fixed option so that in the future I can look back and filter things by year. I have any notes that I want to remember about the, the gift. So here I have filled out that I want to confirm the color. Um, I have a space, I have a field for the receipt after I actually make the purchase and I also have the status. So this is another fixed option list. I have a waiting link because some persons do send me the actual link for the item that they want to source which is essentially I need to figure out where I'm getting the item from to purchase means that I already know where I'm getting it from. I just have to actually go there to purchase it or to purchase it online. Purchased, of course, I've already gotten it and wrapped and ready. So these are the fields that are associated with the Christmas gift super tag, right? So now I'm just going to go through some ways that you can view this information in Tana. Right, so I'm gonna go to a table view, which is this all gifts view here. We can see that this is just showing you everything, the same simple query, everything tagged with Christmas gift, and I'm viewing it as a table. I have this information sorted by person just because if I have multiple gifts for one person, I want them to be grouped together. Right, and if I'm, for example, filling in a lot of information, I can easily do that in the table, in the table view. So initially, when I made this view, I actually would have filled in most of the items from here as opposed to the list, just because it was easier. Next, I have two card views. So this is the status. So the view is a card view and it's grouped by the status, right? So the same statuses that I would have um, went through in the configuration for the super tag. I can see everything that I need to purchase, everything that I need to source, things that are awaiting a link, and later on these will be, these cards will be moved. Um, so let's say I purchased the belt, I would move it to purchased. I also have this same sort of card view viewed by person. So here I can see everything that I need to get for each individual, right? And in these views, in terms of the display, I just have, so I have the store, I have the amount in TT, I have any notes and the status. It's similar for the, the status view. I just have everything viewed. Um, and of course I have the image because I want to see um, the image in this card view. If I take that off, you're, not, you're just not going to see the image. Right? So now very quickly, I just want to add a gift for my friend Megan just to show you an example of how it actually how it actually works. So I'm going to go to my today page and I'm thinking about getting Megan a plant, a ZZ plant. So I'm just going to type that as Christmas gift, command down just to see all of the fields and I can quickly fill these out. So the store is Rain Tree Garden Center. I remembered paying $100 for mine. I don't need a URL in terms of an image. I'm just going to drag in the image that I, <laughs> the picture of the plan that I own. Any notes that I have, um, if they don't have, 
the ZZ plant. I can consider getting a Monstera for Megan as well. I don't have a receipt and the status is to purchase because I know where I'm purchasing it from. Right, so if I collapse this and I go back to my Christmas gift planner, I'm going to see it come up here. Right, so all the information that I have, this gift that I need to get for Megan. And that is essentially it. You know, it's a very simple Christmas gift planner that you can build for yourself as well in Tana and customize all the fields, delete anything that you don't want and um, essentially make it your own. This setup is specifically addressing Christmas gift planning. So other practical fields like the price where she lists her budgets, URLs for online shopping convenience, year so she can reuse this list for next year and the year after that and status for when she wants to know if it's wrapped and ready to go yet have been added for additional planning assistance her use of tabs is mm, perfect as it shows her the data in the most useful way based on the question ask or frame of mind she's in does she want to see the whole factory floor assembly line she can go to status where things are sorted in card view according to their stage of completion. Has she been fair in her gift allocation across all family and friends? She can go to the person tab, also sorted in card view, group by person. Does she want to conduct a quick input across many recipients and gift categories? Bust out that table view of all gifts. So there it is, a couple of different ways to stay on top of your gift game in Tana. While these workflows are very topical right now, they can be used for any season, occasion, and moment when gift giving happens. We hope this video has inspired you to plan for the holiday seasons so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the festivities for once. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.